come home. Oh, you scared me. I didn't know you were home. I yelled for you when I came in. Huh? I yelled for you when I came in. Oh, how did the trial go? The trial was fine. I met the most interesting young man. Okay, well, tell me what happened. Well, at the start, everyone was voting guilty, including myself, except for one man in the room. I think his name was Davis. Sorry, my back is killing me. The chairs in the courtroom aren't very comfortable. Oh, that's okay, dear. Do you want a cup of tea to relax? No, thank you. I don't think so. Like I was saying, Davis was the one man who voted not guilty. At first, I was a bit annoyed. We all were. But eventually, he convinced me. And when it came time to vote again, I voted not guilty as well. I bet that didn't make people happy. No, ma'am, it did not. Some of them got violent. I honestly couldn't tell you why. Why they were so determined to sentence this kid to death. To death? Yes, that's how serious this was. And slowly, one by one, this Davis fellow convinced everyone in the room that the kid on trial was innocent. Yesterday, I thought you said he killed his father. I did think that. But the case started to become weak after Davis put these events into new light. But I don't think things started going his way until he showed us the knife. Knife? Oh yes, the knife the prosecution said was a one and only knife could be bought off the street for $10. And Davis bought a knife similar to the murder weapon. I thought that was real clever. How about you, Gertrude? Gertrude? I guess I'll tell you tomorrow.